for six weeks now that you've heard from everyone, um, I've actually had the opportunity of working with a lovely young woman, Melissa Hilton. <laughs> I first met Melissa. <laughs> she is quite lovely. She's wonderful and amazing. I first met Melissa when she came to American Girl to speak to us about Special Olympics during our week that we were celebrating the World Games in Athens. That day I was so inspired by Melissa and now today by knowing her as a mentor and most importantly a friend, I feel much more, even so more inspired by her. She's very inspiring. So tonight I hope that you listen to her speech hear her message, and take away with a strong desire to grow yourselves. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my friend, Melissa Hilton. Hi, my name is Melissa Hilton. I'm a global mission for Special Olympics. My strengths are caring, achieving, and relating. I have been a Special Olympian for over 20 years. Some of my favorite sports are track and field, softball, and bowling. Some of my hobbies are sewing, reading, and making ceramics. Today I'm going to show you how Special Olympics has changed my life using ceramics as an example. <laughs> Today I will show you how a piece of fresh clay turns into a fi finished and decorated piece. I work on my ceramics on the weekdays at Eisenhower Center and I train my body to be an athlete on the weekend whenever I can. I work hard so my ceramics are beautiful and I train hard so I'm the best I can so <laughs> so I'm the best I can be and so that I can achieve my goals that I set for myself. Okay. To make ceramics the first thing you need is a piece of fresh clay is this right here. <laughs> this is just a lump of clay I used to start with. A fresh piece of clay has no form and needs someone to mold, to mold it. Just like my family helped mold me to be the caring person I am today. This picture shows me on the day I was adopted into my family. The very most, the very important day that, that started the molding process in my life. The first picture shows me at Easter as a young child and the next picture, and the next dressed in my Julia outfit in front of the house we still live in. This is a fired piece of clay. After you mold the clay, you have to fire it to train it to keep the shape. Just like I train my, just like I train my body to be in the shape for competition. The firing process helps make the clay strong and hard. Just like my muscles need to need to be to compete. It also helps the clay bond itself like I have to bond with my brain to be in the right mindset to compete. It is easy for me to bond with myself because I have my family, friends, and coaches that push me and help me to achieve my goals. I also enjoy building new relationships with people that I can help push toward their goals. In these pictures, you can see me training for the Olympics. It is hard work, but it is all worth it. <laughs> okay. This is a finished piece of ceramic art. After all that hard work comes the satisfaction of accomplishment. When I get to decorate it for everyone to see. When I get to decorate for everyone, and because I work so hard to train to compete, I achieve more. One achievement that I am proud of is that I was awarded the opportunity to be on the 2000, 2007 Special Work Games USA team. I traveled to Shanghai, China to compete. I competed in the running wand jump, 4x100 relay, and the 100 meter run dash against many other teams from around the world. My greatest achievement is that I now have the honor of being decorated as of several medals of the 2007 Special, Special Olympic World Games in Shanghai, China. These pictures, these pictures 
represent my achievements. Now you know how ceramics can become beautiful from beginning as a piece of fresh clay being molded, fired, and decorated. Not just for me, but everyone here just like that clay. You need to surround yourselves with people who can help mold, train, and push us to meet our goals. And we need to do the same for them. <laughs> Through hard work, dedication, and love, we, we can all achieve greatness. Thank you.